What am I doing? Hey. Oh, I just knocked it off anyway. Boy, what a morning. I had best intentions. I was actually, what did I do first? I I played I played Rihanna, just sat back and just listened to Rihanna's song, uh, Lift Me Up, right? But then I went to Nina, uh, New World Coming. It's a, it's a special mix, you know, really sensitive mix. And then for some reason, what happened? Something happened. And the thing just, what did I do? I think it's more of a case I want you. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's more of a case I want you. No, what happened was I did 17 days. And then I did Marvin Gaye, 17 days Prince. Then I did Marvin Gaye, I want you, right? But then before I could go to Valerie, something like that, the thing jumped. The, well, it just said, we ain't cool. We don't care what you think. <laughs> We need a computer. And so it did this, uh, uh, the recovery mixes of uh, volume two by uh, DJ Spivey. So that play so instead of me saying, I'm like, well, you know, I just let it go. So I let that play. And that was like an hour, 79 minutes. Uh, but then I said, oh, I was, I was walking. By that time, I was in the cemetery already. And so what I did, I just went to Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. I said, listen, why am I talking to you with my headphones on? Why am I doing it? In fact, let me turn these things off. Um, so, uh, oh, oh. so I went to Miss um, Neely Fuller Jr. Two hours of Miss him because you know on on, on Saturdays I uh, well on Sundays I do a special they call Sunday sermons and uh, our text our scripture is Miss Neely Fuller Jr. And so usually I download it on a Wednesday or something like whenever he's through whatever Tuesday Wednesday. And then I either listen to a Saturday or Sunday. I try on Sunday because later on today I will be doing a Sunday sermon. That's the whole thing. Oh, by the way, this is behind the scenes. That's why I can tell you all this stuff. You know, it means not, you know, it, that's been listened to. And it's behind you say, but behind, but brother, behind the scenes. What are you behind the scenes? Good question. I am behind the scenes. A Instagram post. See what happened? That's what happened. This thing just. Did what it wanted to do. Oh, I remember now. I got to do it right away. Let me take it off airplane mode. Take it off uh, that too. Take it off. Uh, take it off airplane mode. There you go. Now I'm back. Now since I'm off airplane mode, then I can tell you. I can tell you how much I walked. Here we go. Uh, you know we do steps. You know there's kilometers, there's miles, and there's steps. We do steps. Uh, steps. Okay. I did 26,223 steps this morning. And that's equal to 17.84 kilometers or kilometers. I don't really want to say it. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this, this cold that sort of jumped into my head, my nostrils, and it seemed to be leaking out of my eye now. Sorry about that. Be explicit like that. But no, I feel great. The, 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 the germ is not feeling so good. It's like saying, oh, man, what did I get myself into? 17.84 kilometers. And then what we do is we go here and we say uh, 17, 17.84 kilometers, 84 kil, uh, uh, kilometers in the kilometers two miles right there so I walked 11.085 miles so basically 18, 18 kilometers 11 miles I did 11 miles this morning you say that's a lot brother that seems to me an awful lot well it's a, it's a Sunday so here's how it goes on the one days I walk a certain amount and then on Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's like a little bit more than that Monday thing. Then on Saturday, it's a little bit more than the, you know, Monday through, or let's say Tuesday through, through Friday, right? And then Saturday, Sunday is the end of the week, and that's the end, and that's the biggest, longest, walkiest, right? I get up early. In fact, I get up early this morning, it was very weird. I went to the walking park, I'm telling you all that stuff, wait a second. 
I got to set the stage here. You look how I set the stage. We have to, uh, hey, life is a ritual. Everything is ritual. Well, it's, that's my, that's my, that's my take on it. Everything is ritual. I got my Big Daddy incense here. Hey, that's what it's called, Big Daddy incense. And so I light my Big Daddy incense up. You see, it doesn't, you know, it lasts a long time because I, I keep on putting it out after these things. These things take a certain amount of time. And then I put it out. I have to start lighting this before because it's windy out now. I'm going to start lighting this before the thing because it's going to go out right away if I don't do it. But I'll talk while I do this. So anyway, so I got to the walker parts of my, and it was, so it was, it was dark because, you know, I would say quarter to six, five thirty. Quarter to six, let's make it quarter to six, right? And it's kind of warm, it's warmer than it was now, right? And so, and I'm ready for the, I'm, you know, I'm ready for the, for the winter. So I walked to the park and I'm going there and I see this guy, right? Right? Big guy, shadows, right? I don't say nothing. I walk right past him. And he's on the path. You know, he gets off the path and let me by. Walk past him. I go to my shed spot and do my stuff, my, my, my morning stretches and stuff like that. With that. And then I go to, I, then I, what I do is I walk these, these, there's these half court basketball thing and I walk the court. I don't know how to explain this to you, but I walk the court. But if I, if I walk in the court, right there, okay, that's going great. Let me put my thing up here. Oh, you see how I'm dressed? Wait a second. You see this here? For those of you who have been with me for a while, when I say a while, when I first started Instagram, which is two years ago, when, I guess, whenever the pandemic started, I was, I was stuck in New York, that's when I started Instagram. But I used to wear this as my mask. This thing is my mask. Anyway, it's a way to do it. So that's so if you if this reminds you of something, it's because that's what it was. Anyway, so so now I put it over. I don't don't worry about it. So um. So uh so 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 that, then I see this guy get out of the car. Then another game. Somebody get out of the car and walk that way. Then somebody else get in the car and walk, start walking towards the. How did that work? Oh, let me let me, let me How did I go? Oh, somebody had gotten and they were walking right, and I was walking the other way. Now here's the thing. You have to understand, I was made in the South Bronx. We have certain, let's call them idiosyncrasies. <laughs> so when that person got out of the car, I started walking that way. Now, when I had finished my shed thing and I started walking, right? Now, I could have went this other way and still ended up on a basketball court. But the South Bronx mentality, <laughs> he said, if there's something happen, whatever it is, you walk towards the danger. You don't try to avoid the danger. You don't run away. You walk towards the danger. I'm not saying this was danger. I'm just trying to tell you automatically this happened. So that the person walk, I walk towards it, right? And you know, you know they, they they and then they keep they they keep on going down. I, I go to the basketball court. What's the lesson here? Lesson here, I'm an idiot. No no, no. <laughs> that's not the lesson. That's not the lesson. <laughs> it's just something. I can't explain this man. You grow up a certain way and it, it, it and, and it's hard for you to I no fear or not whatever it is. Let me give you two instances. Let me give you two instances. I know it's the making of Instagram, but forget the Instagram right now. Let me give you two instances. Uh, one, I was on. Where was I living? I was living on. Uh, I was living on Lower East Side. Living on. I think it was I living on Fourteenth Street or Seventh Street. I think I was living. I think I was living on Fourteenth Street. And I was walking home one time. Now Fourteenth Street is a very long, wide, wide avenue. And when it gets to Stuyvesant Village, it's on, on the north side. And then I was living on the south side, on a, on a, on a tenement. I think that was it. anyway, uh, uh, Avenue A, right? So there's this like it's like a a road by by Stuyvesant that is like a medium, if you want to call it that. And then the big Fourteenth Street Road, right? And this is like this be like two o'clock in the morning. Nobody's there. Right? So I'm walking home. So naturally, I got to cross the street, you know, to get to the south side of that 14th Street and whatever, the south side of the street. So I'm walking there. And then there's these two guys coming in. One guy's a little guy. He got a stick banging it on the side. Right? The other guy, taller guy, right? He's sort of skinny. Now, here's the thing. Yes, I could have went and, you know, went and just got out of the way, whatever have you. But... Again, I was much younger, I should say that. 
must have been in my 30s, whatever, whatever age I was, right? And so I'm walking. Now, there's this trick that, that for you to, that somebody, back, back then, this is before cell phones and stuff like that. This is before cell phones and stuff like that. So the guy walking, the guy would hit, hit the stick on the sidewalk for some, and walk, they're walking, and I'm walking towards them. And so he says to me, you got the time? I said, no. I was keeping, I was pieces in stride. And then all of a sudden, the guy, whoa, they both sort of moved out of the way. Because when they asked if you had the time, they want you to see if you got a watch and then see your demeanor and whatever have you. I guess my demeanor was going like, oh, really? You, you're going to pull that one? Uh, it ain't working. Okay, leave that one alone. And another time, after the way after that, I was, uh, I was in, uh, maybe not way after that. Yeah, way after that. I don't know whenever it was. I was in Guatemala. And it was the first time I'd been to Guatemala, whatever. And I was at a, a, a guest house, whatever it was. And they, they said, well, this is a dangerous area, blah, blah, be, be careful, blah, blah. No, they, they gave me like, a post kind of warning. And, I, and there, there was a movie. There was a movie theater, of course. I had to go to the movies. What can I tell you? So I went to the movies and they got out late, of course. So I'm walking back to the guest house. And again, this is a wide street, right? I've told the story before, but, but I like the story. So now remember, it's the first time I've been to Guatemala. I don't really speak a lot of Spanish. Be the two words that I learned. <laughs> the two words I learned was uh, cervezas, that's beer, and baño, bathroom. That's the only two words I, well, I should say that were a little bit. Anyway. So, so I'm walking. I'm walking in the middle of the street. And I see these two guys just beating the stuffings out of some cat over there. Okay, I just keep on walking, right? It ain't my business. Not even my country. I don't know what the beef was, right? So I keep on walking. And as I pass them, one of the guys peels off. And he goes and he starts walking this way, right on this 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 side. There's a wide street, but on the other thing. So I walk, 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 and then when we was far enough away from the guy that was the one guy that was left beat the stuff out of this guy, right? I'm walking. And this guy is walking. I turned around. I stopped. I turned around, and in the most perfect English possible, I said, "You do not want to die tonight." He says, tranquilo, 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 he backs up and goes. <laughs> what does this mean? I don't know what it means. It's just what I just said. Okay. I'm, I don't know why I said that. Oh, I'm still getting rid of this, this, this cold. I, I took a I took a, a, a salt bath last night. That seemed to do the thing, but I still got a little nasal thing happening here. But I'm on the, uh, I'm cooking some lentils and some, some vegetables or whatever I'm going to have now. But I'm also going to... Hydrate like mad today with coconut water, I guess. So, anyway, so that's it. Oh, I took a longer walk because I, the, the music was, was so good. I mean, after I met Miss Neely Fuller Jr., I put on another, another, a DJ, what was it, a DJ Spiny? I forgot what I put on. Uh, No, I put on uh, uh, Frankie Knuckles. There's this cut Frankie Knuckles in a... Uh, oh, but I got it here. Let me tell you what it is. Because it was good. What's this? Uh, it's called The Director's Cut Collection. Let me just see something here. Put that on. Information for you. Director's Cut Collection, Continuous Mix, Resolution, whatever. Path? Oh, this, that's all it says. Director's Cut Collection, Continuous Mix. Oh, okay. That's what it is, Director's Cut Collection. It's really good. Fra oh, Frankie Knuckles and Eric Klepper. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That mix. It was so good when I was walking. I just said, all right, I like this. So I actually walked a little longer. Because <laughs> when the music get good, it's house music, you know? Music you can music you groove to, you know. I'm not into a lot of other stuff. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. No. Let me get going here. Sorry, I'm I'm up here wasting time put the lighter back. Why not why I wasted so much time? Simple. Because uh I walk today, today's Sunday, do Miss Dilly Fuller Jr. Later on I do the Sunday sermons. Uh, but uh, Monday tomorrow, be the last. I, I walk again tomorrow morning, but that's Tuesday. Or Monday, I'll be fasting. But on Tuesday, I can't walk because I'll be on the train to New York. 
So I guess that's why I went crazy this morning. And then on Mondays, I'm supposed to walk less. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. I have to wait till it happens. Oh, boy, I just feel it. I guess the cold is trying to say, okay, we give. All right, we're trying to get out. Let us out. So I'll hydrate you out, you know. What are you supposed to do? Starve a cold, feed a fever, fever, feed a fever, feed a fever, feed a, starve a fever, feed a It don't make no difference. What you're supposed to do is hydrate anyway, because what you want to do is you want to move stuff out of your body. No matter what. Like you could eat, not eat, but make sure you, you, uh, that's the word is hydrate, but make sure you drink a lot of liquid, whatever. That's why soup is good, because whatever. So that's what I'll be doing all day. Coconut water. Not so concentrate. Okay. Yeah. Now that I told you a story, let us get going. Oh. Get these people ready right now. I'll make my hoodie on like this. How do I look? Okay. I'm only kidding. I'm kidding. Well, I... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, gosh. Oh, I did have, did I have, see, when I start walking, I think of something, and then it's usually I try to keep it in my head and blah, 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 whatever you got, you talk about, I don't know, dude. But, uh, I don't know, let me just hit the thing. I'll think of something while I'm, while I'm hitting this thing here. I'll see what happens. Da, 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 da. I really do wish I could. Oh, hey! Instagram is me, T, from the past. It's taking a trade just a bit. Fighting, a, well, not fighting, a, winning, beating up on a cold. It's a cold, not a flu. In fact, I got to go to New York on Tuesday. So you know what I'm going to do? I should tell you this tomorrow, but Monday, but I'm going to tell you now. Right? When it was, it's kind of chilly out here. It was chilly this morning. Actually, I, I started walking at uh, what, 5.36, quarter to 6, something like that this morning. And it was warmer than it is now. And it's now, what time is it now? I don't know what time it is. It's, 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 it's whatever time you y'all say it is. Whatever if I do this. With a, oh, ooh, it's 10.41. So I walk from... Let's call it six. I walked four out. Well, four and a half hours. I like walking. Let me tell you when when I was in when I went when I was had my little incident with the scene. I I walked myself back to health. And uh, when I was in India, I was walking. You know, and you know tourists don't really walk in India, right? So I was walking, and then they stand, and I walk. I was at the, I was at Orville, but I would go down to Pondicherry. This is in the Tamanadu state. I would go to Pondicherry or Tamanadu, and I walk. I walk the beach to the to the village. The people through the villages, and people see me, and and and, 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 and they would call me the walking man. You know, that's strange. Well, not strange. They call me the walking man, right? In fact, in uh. The only other time I had somebody call me something like that was when I was in Brazil. I, had this, I went to I went to this, um, place called Cachoeira, and uh, I was there by myself. I didn't know any Portuguese. They didn't know any English. Uh, well, whatever. But uh, they called me because they had a little concert when I first got there. So I was dancing on the side. They, so the whole whole village started calling me the dancing man, the, the dancing man. Right? Okay, okay, that's not what I'm talking about. But I'm going to New York because, well, hopefully. I'm not going to count my chickens till the hatches. I have to see what happens. I have to have the evidence in my hand. But I, as soon as it happens, I'll let you know. So stay tuned for that. But also because uh, my uh, my sister, one of my sister's best friends that she grew up with, whatever, uh, Maria, whatever, they have a house in, wherever they have the house in. So we're going to be in New York to go up to there for Thanksgiving. You know, people say, Thanksgiving, you're celebrating? Ah, please. Be eating. That's a <laughs> They eat. I don't. Know. I don't know how much turkey. I'm gonna eat a lot of vegetables. I don't know what else I'm gonna eat, but I'll eat. I'll eat. It's, you know, I know nobody's celebrating no pilgrims or something like that. You know, things change. You know. Okay. Don't know. Get me wrong. Man. Yeah, remember that movie? Somebody made was made. Some girl. She was being a fan girl. A actress made famous in the movie because they, they sat around and they, they think Kevin Klein was the father and whatever, but they sat around for Thanksgiving and everybody was supposed to say something. And so the girl said, Grace, she was talking about the oppression of the of the Indians, of the Native Americans, all that stuff. It was hilarious. It was a good movie. I forget the name of the movie. I forgot the, I forgot the name of the actress, but she was good in it. It was one of her, 
I don't think it was Scarlett Johansson, but somebody like that on that level, right? Um, when, when they were young, you know. Any rate, back to the point. So I'll be up in New York, but 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 the thing the reason I'm talking is because then I'm gonna hook up with my friend uh, Chris Brandt. Chris is one of these radicals. See, I know a lot of people. You know, uh, Chris is like one of those white radicals. Okay, I don't want to see it that way because he just I don't care what Chris. Is. Chris look, he's a poet to me. Chris is a poet to me. And I've been with Chris for I know Chris for a long time. It's like he did this great, great. I think it's online someplace. I think he redid it, whatever have you, of uh, uh, Smedley Butler's uh, thing, War is a Racket. And we, we had recorded and we I had did all these things to it and made it like a sound like back then in the, in the, in the, in the 40s or whatever it was when, when he recorded it. Right? And, and when, when Smedley Butler did it, I mean, it really sounded authentic. And, and Chris is a, Chris, he's a, he just a, he's a poet, but he's, a, he's also a great actor. And so I just... I think it was in the meat locker, PAI. All I did was just turn the microphone on. I think I even left the room. <laughs> God said, go do what you want. Because, you know, I fixed it in the edit, you know, if there was wrong. Hey, I ain't nothing to edit. I just had to... That's how good he is. And, and Chris was in a bunch of my plays, too. Um, my audio dramas, I should say. He's really good. There's this play I want to do. I want him to do a part in it, too. I mean, so I hook up with him. So that's going to be nice, you know. Uh, 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 uh. And that's it. That's all I have to tell you this morning. That's all I'm reporting to you, right? I'm, it's my. I'm telling you about my life. Well, okay, maybe I should. Maybe I should do something political or something like that. But I ain't. Oh no. Uh, oh, what's this guy? Uh, Billy Carson. Yeah, you know the the guy with the says the aliens are watching us and they they, they waiting for us to become human and stuff like that. So I, 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 you go to him, you should really go down some rabbit holes. He, he, with the, he deals with Egyptology or the, the under the, under the pyramids and all the rest of that stuff. Really, really good. But you see, there's a, it's a, um, it's a ooh, look at, what kind of bird is that? We know we're in Virginia because it's birds. We're not in Africa because then you hear chickens and pigs and, and almost cows and stuff like that. Anyway, so I started going down rabbit with this boy. Oh, man, I don't, you, know, you know, all the historical things. I'm going like, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm dealing with now. I deal with the third infinity, which is the, the, the right now. And I dig down into the now. But his conjecture is really good. They say that when the Earth, when, the Earth, when we have 8 million people, something like the aliens are going to start, start saying, hey, we got to sort this stuff out, whatever. I mean, I change that. I think nine is a complete number. I think it's like when, when the Earth reaches the now, Nine billion people, then the aliens or the people that put that that put put DNA in us or do whatever they do us, you know, put that make us whatever they made us right now. Then they're gonna say, okay, you all done had enough fun. Y'all been messing up, you know what I mean? Y'all y'all been beating up on each other. Y'all been, you know. But I, I like Mr. Lee Fuller say he was, yes, his thoughts this morning was like a Rodney King. Can we all get along? And Martin Luther King, you know, where do we go from here? The you know book. I, I told you about that book. I read that book. Where do we go from here? Anyway, the question, and it's like, why can't we get along? Yeah, well, I'll tell you why we can't get along. Because we got a bunch of, a knucklehead, not knucklehead, we got a bunch of opportunistic people. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give them or whatever, because they're all kinds of things right now that have been cabaling for years and like that, and they don't care about us. And so, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so, so uh, I think it's, it's Billy Carson, is that his name? Whatever the boy's name is. He's good. You know what I mean? I like him. I can't go that right down that rabbit hole. I got all the alien stuff, all of the the, 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 the past stuff, you know, kings and queens and, and what do you call that? Uh, uh, pyramids and whatever. Oh, that's what I like. I like the guy in India too. It's kind of interesting because I can I can get with all this stuff because you know, he's talking about the guy in India, uh, Pravan, uh, Mohan, whatever his name is, he goes to all, all, the, all, all the Indian uh, uh, temples and, and the, uh, the intricacies of them that like, couldn't possibly have been built by the by blah, blah, it's kind of been some aliens coming down and, and he, and he, and he, and he, and he uh, hooks it up with, with stuff that happened in Egypt. It's really fascinating. Of course, nobody talked about Africa, but we, we won't get into that. So anyway, so it's exciting times, you know. So you, this is only for you in the U.S. when you eat your turkey, whatever, and you're supposed to be with your family and you're reflecting and doing your, your, your graces and stuff like that. You know, oh, we're going to be up there with Maria and her husband, who I would say nothing. I hope they don't want me to do no. Or they, if I do the grace, oh, boy. In fact, I think I'm going to bring my color Bible. If I do the grace, it's going to be interesting. Let's just say that. All right. Got to go. Talk to you later. Be well. All right. Be, be well, well.
Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, you see what happens? Sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to say, and I just go and say anything, right? It, come, it comes into my head. <laughs> and then I blurt it out. <laughs> okay. It's cold out here, so let me just do this real quick so I can get off off of this, uh, right? Uh, pre, 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 pre Thanksgiving message. Yeah, pre. Uh, I'm gonna say the brother. I'm gonna say oh, pre. The brother talks. Talks. Pre, pre, or uh, pre. Then I put keep the Thanksgiving. H -E. Thanks. That's what I said him do it here. Oh, what did I do? Pre. <sighs> Delete that. Talks. No, the brother gives. No, 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 no. Talks pre. Talks pre. See, the problem is pre or pre. Thanks. Thanks. Giving. The right and the problem is. Thanksgiving is a uniquely, uh, you know, North American American holiday. So if I say Thanksgiving, you know, it's like like they do Thanksgiving in South Africa, but it has it has to do with Thanksgiving for family thing, like like a, a mother or something like that. They want to give thanks for them to be in the patriarch or whatever it is. Trans the free Thanksgiving, then I put I don't know, North American North or North. American, North American. I don't leave it like that, man. Why not? This, this space. The run talks pre Thanksgiving North American. I don't know why. I don't know what else to say. Location, uh, Western Branch. Add to series. It's still morning, so I'm gonna say in the morning. I should say on the road, but no. Uh, in the morning. Hey, it's getting real cold, man. I gotta get out of here. And I gotta start figuring out what I'm gonna start wearing. Share. Boom. That's going. Okay, yeah, it's getting way too cold. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go.